Bernie Sanders went from surging in the Democratic primary polls to absolutely laying the smack down in the polls. So there's a new Boston Herald poll out, and they found that Bernie has eclipsed Hillary. And he's done it in dramatic fashion. Now, specifically, they're talking about New Hampshire here. This is specifically for the state of New Hampshire. So in March, Hillary had 44%, and Bernie had just 8%. Today... Bernie has 44%, and Hillary has 37%. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a historic charge. Now, not only that, people are more likely to say that they're excited, quote, excited by Bernie Sanders' campaign. So people are listening to what he's saying, and they're hearing the message, and they're going, oh yeah, no, 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 I, I believe this guy, and I'm behind him with his policy ideas. Now, what I find hilarious in this story is, you know what the response of the Hillary camp is? They say they're still more nervous about Biden possibly entering the race. I don't know how many times I've said this about Bernie Sanders, but I'm going to say it again right now. Iceberg! Dead ahead! The Hillary camp is still like, ah, ha, 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 yeah. the establishment and the corporations are not with Bernie, so it's impossible for him to win. Now... It is harder for him to get national media coverage, and it is harder for him to uh, rise in popularity as much as he is without the backing of these people, because 90 to 95 percent of the time, uh, people who raise the most money end up getting elected, specifically for the Senate. But that still leaves, what, 5 percent, 10 percent of the time that that doesn't happen? So yeah, in a way, the odds are against him, but... All the evidence you need that he's a special case is right in front of you, Hillary campaign. And you're still like, you yeah, know, we're still scared of Biden. Biden ran once before, or more than that, actually. What did he have the last time he ran? What was he polling at? I believe it was negative 86%. Now, I got nothing against Joe Biden. He's done some pretty good work. But, I mean, it's just misplaced priorities. And you see the establishment thinking. You see that they're like, well, come on. It's Bernie. He's an old, decrepit white guy. Who can get excited by him? Oh my god, he's beating us. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to learn, man. They're never going to learn. Hillary's campaign, campaigns uh, have been historically pathetic. Because in 2008, what happened? And the Republicans anointed her in 08, too, and she got her ass handed to her. They were like, oh, she's inevitable. Let's all discuss her and run against her. And then they were like, oh my god, a guy named Barack Hussein Obama, who's black, just beat her. How did that happen? Well, perhaps she's not as strong of a candidate as you think she is. See, again, it's the, the, the breakdown between the establishment and the people. And they have their bubble thinking, their bubble wisdom, and they don't break free from it. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders is going to win. I'm saying that it's certainly a possibility. And I believe that the hardest thing he'll have is to get through the primary. If he were to get through the primary, oh, watch out. Because the Republicans are not, they're not going to, I mean, who the fuck is going to be able to debate Bernie Sanders and come out looking better than him on the Republican side? Scott Walker, I'm not sure his IQ even registers if you test it. His IQ might be zero. With somebody like that, Marco Rubio, who's up, who just said recently, ban all abortions! Uh, for, uh, the, uh, rape, even in cases of rape, you gotta ban those abortions. That guy's gonna somehow come out looking better than Bernie Sanders in a It's not gonna happen. So the hardest thing he has is to get through the primary. And it is gonna be difficult, don't get me wrong, but the polls indicate right now that he's moving in the right direction because he's actually saying something that fucking resonates. So, Noam Chomsky weighed in uh, on this and on the candidacy of Bernie Sanders, and he tried to put it in perspective. Let me give you what he said here. He says, I'm glad that Sanders is running. A good way to bring important ideas and facts to people. His candidacy might also press the Dems a little in a progressive direction. In our system of bought elections, he has scarcely a chance of getting beyond the primaries. And even if by some miracle he were elected, he wouldn't be able to do anything, lacking any congressional representatives, governors, etc. As far as I can see, he's a thorn in the side of the Clinton machine, which is not a bad thing. Now, believe it or not, I think he's a little bit too pessimistic.
But, I mean, it, look, it is true that it's an uphill battle. There's no doubt about that. But like I just said, 90 to 95 percent of the time, the person that raises the most money ends up winning, which means there's still a five to 10 percent chance that Bernie Sanders can win. Not only that, when you're talking about the a presidential race, you get a lot more free press than you would if you were running in a in a Senate campaign, for example, or if you're running for to be a congressman, so you're running for the House of Representatives. This is a point that uh, Jenk has made over a TYT, and I think he's correct to point it out that the dynamics for a presidential race are slightly different because when you're looking at a Senate race or or a congressional race. Very few people are paying attention anyway because not too many people are political junkies, never mind junkies just for their area. It's usually more national, so they're not as focused on specific races around them. And what happens is the person who raises the most money has more ads, gets on TV more, and then when you go into the voting booth, people go, oh, I heard that guy's name, and they vote for that person. It's a little different when it comes to uh, presidential elections. And, I mean, if he were to get elected, now we're th really, you know, out there here with our theorizing, but... The idea that a guy like Bernie Sanders wouldn't have tactics to put the pedal to the metal. I mean, he would. <laughs> I mean, Chomsky says he'd get nothing done. No, he wouldn't get nothing done. He'd get plenty done, man, because here's another thing about Bernie Sanders. He knows how to play politics. It's not just he's good on policy, which he is, but he can crack some fucking skulls. There's a guy named FDR. You know, FDR, FDR is was famous for going out there and saying about the Wall Street bankers, for example, who caused the Great Depression, they say they hate me, I welcome their hatred. I mean, he was a guy who honestly, in some circumstances, went too far in the techniques that he used in order to get what he wanted. He would stack courts, for example. They'd be like, uh, actually, you can't appoint another person to that court because that's against the rules. He's like, yeah, uh, step aside. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I don't give a fuck. So, and again, in principle, that's actually incorrect. He shouldn't do that because you're setting a bad precedent. What happens when a Republican dumbass tries to do something like that? So it's a bad thing uh, in terms of looking at it from a procedural uh, area. But the bottom line is there are, there are ways to get shit done if you're a true progressive and you want to crack some skulls and you want to have some backbone. I mean, you're, you can... Uh, make a good argument to crush the Republicans in the next election if they don't do what you want in certain respects. You could try to get a, Med a Medicare for All system uh, by going down that road. You could raise the minimum wage by doing that. You could get universal background checks for guns by doing that. Simply by proposing the legislation and shaming and mocking the people who vote against it because they're against 80, 90 percent of the American people. Bernie would be somebody who could get that done. So uh, even when it comes to a guy like Noam Chomsky, who's brilliant in many respects, it's not just, I don't want people to be resigned to the idea that, well, he's just dragging the Democratic candidates to the left, and that's all he is. Maybe, maybe not. But we never know what's going to happen. We, my point is, we control our own destiny here, guys. I'm tired of the people who do the, the unilateral disarmament, and they say, we will lay down and just vote for Hillary because blah, 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 big bad Republicans or something. That's not fucking good reasoning. <laughs>